Hi everyone and welcome back to the Virago build series. In this video, we're going to finally paint the bike. All right, now before we paint the bike, there's actually a couple of things that we need to do. One of them is these blinkers are honestly so cheap and this one in particular keeps unbolting itself and then I get off the bike at the shop and it's just dangling. So I got some new blinkers, they're a little bit bigger, they're actually made for a Harley Sportster and they're fully blacked out, uh, LEDs as well, but I think they're going to look a lot nicer. The other thing that we need to do is I want to cut down this rear fender, which is the whole reason why we made the number plate bracket and yeah, so my original plan was to actually cut down this rear fender and then a lot of Facebook forums for this bike, uh, a lot of people, what they do is underneath the rear fender is an inner fender and they just take the top off the inner fender and then use the inner fender in replacement. Uh, the inner fender comes to about here, which is pretty much perfect for what I want. So we're going to be doing that. I've got new blinkers to put on and I have a new tail light to put on as well, which is going to look a lot nicer. And then we can get on to the paint. Alright, so we got the under fender mounted, got the blinkers put on and the tail light put on. The blinkers work and the brake light works. But unfortunately, the tail light that I bought for some reason, the actual uh, tail light isn't working. So I've messaged the company and hopefully we'll get a new one. If not, I'll just buy a new one. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how it looks, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I also actually chipped the front of it when I was trying to pull it apart so that I could try and fix the wiring, but I couldn't fix the wiring anyway, so that was a lost cause. But anyway, that's all done. So now we can move on to painting the bike. Now to paint the bike, we're actually going to be using some custom peelable paint. And unfortunately I don't have any black plastic yet, but Duplicolor one will work fine. So we've got Duplicolor cast, Custom Wrap in Carbon Black. And then we're going to be going over that with the Plasti Dip. Media. Which is a silver slash turquoise um, color shift. But really, if you don't do my next step, there's pretty much no silver. It changes sort of between like a greeny purpley color. And that's not really what I'm going for. But after we do the chameleon, we're going to be putting a light coat of Plasti Dip Pearlizer over the top. And from some tests I did, this brings out the silver really well and adds pretty much takes away most of the color shift and leaves just a little bit there depending on how much Pearlizer you put on top. So I'm going to come along and pull all the panels off the bike and paint everything up. She died of the really horrible uh, disease. The one. I'm pretty neat. The bleedings are better than white songs. But that's not cheap, is it? Uh, oh, 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 yeah. It's okay, you're the best, dude. Quite quickly. Alright, so I've got the panels finished and as you saw, I did one extra step because I wasn't happy with the matte look. So all of these panels have had black, followed by the chameleon, then followed by the pearl, and then followed by a gloss over the top. And I must say, I'm very happy with how it turned out. My main goal was to pretty much have the bike look silver unless it hit the light in a certain way. And if you're paying attention, you could see the color shift with the, like the maroney greeny color. So I think it came out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. 
Now I'm excited to get the panels put back on the bike and see how it looks out in the sun. So I have a confession to make. I absolutely hated the look of the cut down rear fender. So I actually repainted the existing rear fender and have put that back on the bike. And I've got a new tail light, which I think looks a lot better than the uh, factory tail light. And all in all, I am very happy with the color of the bike and how it came out. I think it looks amazing. The silver looks really good. And when the sun hits it just right, you get that little bit of color change which is absolutely perfection to me. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and follow me for future videos. There will be, I think, one more or a couple more videos on the bike, a couple more things left to do to it, but I have a lot of other things that I like to do. And if you check out the rest of my channel, you'll see what that is up to 3D printing and woodworking. And I have some few exciting projects coming up. So be sure to check those out and I'll see you next time.